Hey everybody, my name is John and today I'm going to lead you through a Qigong practice to improve your health and vitality. All of the movements that we're going to do are very simple and easy to learn and they will help you feel calmer and more energized. Okay, so we're going to start with the movement called the pump. So we're going to inhale, arms up, exhale, hands come down as the knees bend, and then as the arms go behind you, you straighten the legs again. And we bend the legs, inhale, come up. Exhale, bend, bring the arms behind you, straighten the legs, bend, inhale, come up. And now we'll do this faster. Just letting the arms be nice and relaxed, moving with gravity, inhaling up, exhaling down and back, pumping through the legs, really waking up your chi, waking up your body. Do three more. And come up. And exhale down. Now I'll do a movement for the lung meridian. So palms are at your waist, hands are at your waist, palm up. Inhale, scooping up. Turn the palms out and up. And then exhale. Bring the hands down and inhale, start again. So you can feel like your hands are gliding across your body, even though they're not making contact physically. You can feel like you're giving your body a massage and then feel that you're connecting to this universal chi that's all around you, bringing it back into your body. So the inhale is strong and smooth. Exhale is calm and relaxed. Keep going and breathing. And now this time when our hands come up, we're going to hold this position, taking the arms a little wider, let your shoulders relax. You can continue looking up and out gently. Just allow your body to release into this posture. So this, these static postures in Qigong are really excellent for developing more energy. Just want to be as relaxed as you can so the energy will flow through you. Now let's inhale and exhale the hands down. Now we'll do a movement for the kidney meridian. So the hands are going to, palms will face out, hands will come together and come up the midline of the body. Then we'll flip the hands out and float them down. So back of the hands are together and then the palms face out as we float down. So this is a really good one for learning to connect to the energy all around you. Feel your hands tracing these lines of energy up the center of your body and then down to the sides. Feel like you're moving through water. The space around you is never empty. We're learning to connect to this universal chi that surrounds us wherever we go. Inhaling up and exhaling down. The more relaxed you can make your body, the more easy it is to feel the energy within you and around you. Okay, so we're going to come up one last time. And then when we come down, we're going to bring the hands down to about hip height or so. And just feel that your shoulders are really relaxed and your hands and arms are lengthening outwards. This position is called standing in the stream. So feel like your arms are resting on the surface of water and you're fully relaxed, 
And yet your arms are floating. They're not sinking below the surface. So you feel your muscles sinking down, but at the same time, the energy within you is floating, lifting you up. And we'll inhale and exhale, come down. Now we're going to widen our stance for dynamic horse stance. So feet are, you know, comfortably wide. We're going to bend the knees, make sure that they're pointing in the same direction as the toes. So turn your toes out to where you feel comfortable. Then we're going to bring our arms close to each other, inhale up, take the arms wider, exhale down. So as we exhale, we come into the horse stance. As we inhale, we straighten our legs. Exhale, coming down. You don't have to come down very far. Make sure your body is still happy, whatever, whatever depth you choose. This is a really good movement for tuning into your whole body all at once, working together, feeling your connection to this energy around you, but moving the legs, moving the arms, and really feeling your breath. It's an excellent exercise to do anytime you need a little more energy. So now we're going to come down to your low position. Bring the elbows into the sides of your body, making these soft fists. And just slide the shoulders and elbows back, making sure you're not trying too hard. So holding here and breathing, we're going to just let some energy build in our legs here really activating our legs and feel the bottom of your feet connecting to the earth. Take a few more breaths here. And then we're going to inhale, straighten our legs, arms overhead, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Release. So now we'll do a couple stretches. So hands, shoulder height, Push the palms away, fingertips up, so your wrists are flexed. So you should feel a nice stretch through the whole arms, down out to the wrists and fingers. Make sure your wrists are staying flexed. Just hold here and breathe, and feel that even your shoulder blades are reaching a little further apart. And relax. Now we're going to take the fingertips together with the thumb. We're going to pull the fingertips in towards the bottom of the forearm, and we're going to push the backs of the hands away. So you're going to feel this stretch now on the other side of the forearm. Still trying to get the full arm activation here, and yet you're doing this in a way where you're not adding tension, but you're actually able to soften into this movement. So we're finding a nice steady stretch but one that's not too intense, and we can actually relax into the feeling of it. Okay, inhale, exhale, release. Now we're going to interlace our fingers and just let our hands rest on our head. Let the shoulders relax. We're going to inhale like this, standing up tall. Exhale, turn to your right. Then we'll inhale, come back towards center. Exhale, turn to the left. So just inhale, center, exhale, twist. Make sure you don't go too far into the twist. You want to still stay relaxed. So stay within about 70% of your maximum. We want to still be mostly relaxed, working with the breath. Let's inhale, center, and then release. Now we'll do pulling down the heavens to charge up our dantians. The dantians are reservoir of energy, energy centers within your body. So you're going to have the palms facing out. Inhale, feel that you're connecting to all the chi in the universe. Exhale, you're 
pouring this energy down through the upper Dantian in the center of your head, middle Dantian in the center of your chest, and the lower Dantian in the center of the lower abdomen. Again, inhale up, connecting to all the chi in the universe. Exhale down, upper Dantian, middle Dantian, lower Dantian. One more time, feeling all these centers with energy. Now we're going to bring the hands on top of one another, over the lower abdomen, feet together. Let the knees bend, just let your entire body relax. And focus as much as you can on your lower abdomen. You and close your eyes, just allow your body to either move or not, all on its own. This is called bamboo in the wind. You can stay here as long as you like. Concentrating all this chi that you've cultivated into your lower abdomen, the center for vitality in the body. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.